Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. In this video, we will be reviewing Shine Armor's Waterless Wash, Shine, and Protect. Let's do it. Okay, so the Shine Armor Fortify Quick Coat. This, I'm gonna read the directions over the, over the product really quick. It says spray onto a clean, damp microfiber cloth and onto the surface you are cleaning. Approximately a three foot by three foot. You guys know me, I always like to use big, do bigger sections. Maybe I'll do a small section just because it says to. Gen gently wipe the surface with the first pre-wetted folded micro microfiber cloth. Then it says to quickly switch to a clean, folded, dry microfiber cloth and buff off remaining haze before it dries. Repeat the process until the entire vehicle is clean, streak-free, and ultra-glossy. Safe to use on glass, paint, metal, and plastic. So that's pretty cool. You can use it basically on any exterior surface of your vehicle. That's actually really cool to think, if you think about that, the plastics, a lot of times you have to keep products away from plastics that are, you know, like products like these away from plastics. So it's really neat that you can do that. Um, what we wanna do in this, we wanna see how slick the product is, that's very important in a waterless wash. I use other water washes by other companies that have really, really high lubricity, and that's the only way that I will do a waterless wash on a vehicle, is it's got to be slick. We wanna see what the shine looks like. We wanna see if it streaks. Um, we wanna see how well the hydrophobics of this property is, because it does say on the front, the ultimate ceramic coating formula, which tells me it's a SiO2 spray. So it should be really hydrophobic. You know, SiO2 is the new thing right now. You guys have seen millions of videos on them. I've done videos on them. Um, it's the new thing, it's the new craze, but I, it, they are very, very hydrophobic. So what I'll probably do is we'll do probably half the hood. And then once I do half the hood, we'll pull it out. We'll do a water test on it because it does not say there's a cure time at all. I, I've read over the whole, the whole uh, all the directions on here, including the warnings on here to what happened, you know, if you swallow it, stuff like that. There's nothing that says there's a cure time at all. So it's a spray on, buff off, check it out with the water test and see what happens from there. Um, and we'll basically just have to go from there. We're gonna do it on the 2006 Jeep Grand Cherokee, my wife's, and it is really dirty, but it is black. And you guys keep asking me to do these videos on black vehicles. So here it is, here's a black vehicle. That's not always feasible for me, but this video right here, you're gonna get it. And let's just get this video going. Okay, so here's a before of the car. You know, my, my wife does work at a John Deere dealership, so it does get really dirty. As you can see, there's no protection on it. Last thing was on was bead maker, and it is long gone. Try to see if I can show a good amount of dirt. There's a lot of dirt right here. As you can see, Hopefully the camera's picking all that dirt up. On I mean, this side, look at that. I don't know if it's showing all of that. It's absolutely filthy. You can see where somebody's been rubbing up against it. I don't know if you can see it in the camera there. Hope, hopefully you can when I edit. There you go, there's how dirty it is. All right, we're gonna start with the hood. I think what I'm gonna do, we're gonna do a water test um, because I wanna see what it looks like versus where there's basically nothing over here. There's just a little bit of bee maker left, if any at all. Um, last time it rained on it, I'm pretty sure it's pretty much gone. And you guys saw one of the videos to kind of prove that. But down here is just a bucket of clean water. That is it. We're just gonna put my rag in here like that. Because it says a damp towel, so we will I will wring it out and I am going to be using Shiny's Blue Edgeless 500 GSM towels. Love these things. They are $20, $20 for five of them. I'm telling you, you cannot beat that price. They are such a good towel. Highly recommend them. All right, we wring this water out. I'm gonna do like half the hood, I think. Then we'll back it out. We'll do a water test. And we'll come in and we'll finish it. Try to not make this a really long video. Okay, so I have a damp towel, as you see, it is not dripping wet. My hands are dripping wet, but the towel is not dripping wet. And it says to spray it onto here and onto the surface. And it's purple, you can hopefully pick that up right there. It says a three foot by three foot, so we'll just do this half of the hood right here. 
not really a three foot by three foot. Well, it doesn't, doesn't feel extremely slick, I can tell you that much right now. Just gonna, but I am, as you see, I'm kind of pulling up there at the end. There's the dirt. Everybody always says use a white towel when you're doing these waterless washes. Hoping it's picking all that dirt up. And then it says to quickly dry with a dry microfiber. Well, that looks good. I can tell you that much. We're gonna do half the hood, honey. April just walked out. We have no kids tonight. We're gonna do half the hood, then we're gonna pull it out and do a water test on just the half that I do. Okay, so what we're gonna do, anytime you do a waterless wash, you do not wanna use the same side twice. But the towel is still definitely damp. These bottles are kind of cool with the, the small triggers. A lot of companies are doing that now. Smells like grape Kool-Aid, I can tell you that much. I wish it was a little bit slicker, but we'll see if it does, you know, any damage to the paint because we just got done doing a correction on this. And this paint's not perfect to begin with, so there are some marks in it. Tell you, once you hit it with the dry towel, though, flashes extremely fast. Okay, I'm gonna fold it over. We're gonna use the inside. We're gonna finish this part of the hood. Oh, just kicked you guys. Yeah, go ahead and move the journey on back. Of course, I don't know what it'd be like on a clean panel. As far as lubricity, because this is pretty dirty, but I wanted to use this product the way it says that it's meant to be used, which is as a waterless wash. No different than if I was to use my Grios. Okay, so there's that half of the hood. Give you guys a quick glimpse of it. That took no time at all. Sorry, I gotta move my tripod out of the way. Remember, there's stuff all over this hood. This hood's trashed, but there you go. You can see all the dirt and stuff on this side. Just kind of rub my finger down it real gently. See that? You see it right there. I don't see any streaking, but let's get it out here and let's do a water test. Okay, so it's backed out. I want to show you. If you can see that right there, that's a streak. Let's see if it comes off easy. Buffed off really easy. No, it's still there. There we go. Now it's gone. Let's go back to the angle you had before. No more streaking there. And that could just be from me missing, to be honest with you. Looks pretty good. A little bit of streaking right here from me not reaching all the way across. I do not think that's the product's fault. Okay, so let's hit it with the hose. I'm gonna put my towel up. I don't wanna accidentally drop it or something. We're gonna hit it with a mist first because people have been asking me to use a mist first. So I listen and we're gonna do it. Let's see what it looks like over here. This is just a mist. Cannot see my screen. And this, yeah, this side's dead. As you can see, this side is dead. This side right here is beating. Okay, let's hit it with the shower setting. See it sheets the water. Put it over here. Yeah, see how flat that panel is? It's completely flat. There's nothing on the paint. So you can definitely see where I did it. I don't like that setting. Let me try something different. Um, let's try flat. Let's try to see what that does. Beating's not all that impressive. 
I mean, it is, it is hydrophobic. As you can see, the water running off of it. But for something that's supposed to have SiO2 in it, you'd think the beating would be a little bit better. I know people love sheeting. That's fine. Just hit it really light right here and see what happens. I'm going to soak it. See how fast it sheets. It sheets pretty quick. Yeah, well, maybe not. Try it from this angle. I'm almost like it's dead now <laughs> on this side that I just did. Yep, it's acting like it's dead, just like this side over here. Just from spraying the water on it, it looks dead already. It looked good at first. Ow. And it does not say there's a cure time on the bottle at all. I mean, that looks dead. Yes, it is repelling water, but you gotta remember it's on a hood. Gravity itself is gonna make it repel some water. Dang, that's kind of disappointing. But it is what it is, you guys. You see it right there. Um, it did a decent job of cleaning that side of the hood But for just to spray water on it and it basically go dead like that <clears throat> that quick I don't think it's worth even doing the rest of the car in to be honest with you So I'm probably not going to that'd be a waste of my time So we're gonna end this we're gonna end this video here in just a second I want to show you guys so the video probably before this one, I don't know, it was a company that I, it's supposed to be a ceramic coating. This is the side, you remember I put it on. That was just not even an hour ago. That's so this is definitely a no-go for me, you guys, the Shine Armor. You guys noticed when I first started using, I said I wish it had a little bit more lubricity to it because it, I've used water swashes for a very long time from Griot's Garage and I love Adams as well. I just recently started trying using that about a year, year and a half ago, not even that long, about a year ago. And those have tons of lubricity in both of them, and this just doesn't have it. Now, I was willing to go ahead and still do it, as you guys saw me do that half of the hood. But once I brought it out, and it, it did look like it was working good there for a little bit, but then it, it, it almost died. And there is nothing on here that says there's a cure time. Nothing. It doesn't say if it's SiO2, it just says ceramic coating formula, which makes me think it's probably SiO2, but that doesn't act like an SiO2 coating right there. So, it is what it is. I will always give you guys my honest review on products. I don't care if the company sends it to me. I'm not getting paid for these videos. I'm going to always give you my honest review and I'm not gonna make a video where I get paid and lie about a product so you guys buy it. That's just, that's not right of me to do something like that. So that's never gonna happen. So this is gonna be a really short video. I apologize you guys for that. Shine Armor, you need a little bit more lubricity in this product. You need a little bit more hydrophobics for longer than just a few soakings of a, of a garden hose and then maybe we can look at trying this product again. I do appreciate you sending it to me though for my to get my thoughts on it. I really do appreciate that. If you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. Oh, it does smell good. It smells really good. It smells like grape Kool-Aid. It smells really good. Um, but if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. That helps the channel out a lot. Hit that, hit that subscribe button. Help support the Fab Automotive family, automotive detailing family here on YouTube. It's just growing tremendously, you guys. You're blowing me out of the water. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I love you guys. I mean, I love hanging out with you guys on Saturday nights. I love making these videos, interacting with you guys on comments. So hit that subscribe button and uh, ring that bell so when I upload my next video, you get notified. And don't forget, every Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we do go live, and I like to see each and every one of you there.